to make a plastic bottle planter it's something really fun to do i love to make eco art and upcycle and just reduce my waste in general so usually if i use plastic i try not to because as we know plastic takes a really really long time to break down so, and we have a huge plastic problem right now in the world so instead of allowing this to go to the waste facility and build up I will make something out of it and it's actually really fun. I get to decorate things, put fabric, um, put little jewels on it and it's awesome. I really love making this. Take some time and and even I don't have to decorate it. I just leave it like this and it's still really cute and I get really happy about it. Things like cans as well. It's something you could also re reuse. So. I'm going to show you how to make this. All you need is a soda bottle or we're also going to use a plastic water bottle. You need some dirt. You need some yarn. And if you don't have yarn, maybe an old shirt that you don't mind ripping up, that's fine. Scissors and maybe some water on the side, just a little cup, okay? So let's get started. My little sister here is going to help me out. Say hi, Maria Jose. Hi. So she's going to use the plastic water bottle, and I'm going to go big and use the soda bottle. So first, you want to take your scissors and poke a hole in the middle of it. Be careful. Make sure you have a parent with you if, if you require one. Then poke one in there. She got it first try, but it might take a little bit for the soda bottle. So as soon as you poke your hole, you're going to cut around. And please make sure your bottle is clean. I washed my, mine out before we started. Mine is a little wonky, but it's okay. You can go around and cut it again and fix it. I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay. So it's gonna usually go down like this. I'm gonna cut the top also and fix it up. And if you wanna make maybe a design as you cut it that's cool too like some waves something like that let me see that one so as we can see for the water bottle you want to have the tip as close to the bottom as possible so it's a little bit difficult with the water bottle. So instead, what we're gonna do is just cut a little bit more from the bottom part. And cut the bottom part a little bit. So it really opens up the space and you can put more. Still a little, uh, far away from the bottom so we're going to cut a little bit more really the bottom's just like the reservoir for the water so it's just going to catch the water and hold the water so it's not that bad okay that's cool shorter water is close the bottom is closer to the bottom and next we're going to poke a hole on the top take this off and I'm gonna wait for her to be done because her scissors are way sharper than mine watch out you want to do it softly yeah can I see that one so she poked her hole in there gotta be careful make sure you 
have some help if you need some. But we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, this hole. So just, let's go in a little circle. So it's about the length of a, of a pencil in there, the diameter meant. And that's where we're gonna stick either <laughs> that's where gonna, that's where we're gonna stick the yarn. Sorry, I forgot the name of it for a second. I was like, what was that called again? Okay. And I'm gonna stick it here. If you have a drill, that would be awesome. It'd be way easier. But since I do not, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna put two on this one. If you do not have yarn or do not have a shirt uh, that you want to rip up, that's completely fine. Honestly, I've had some of these where I don't put the yarn or I don't put the string. And, you know, it still really works as long as the bottom is close to the water. Uh, as I was talking about with the water bottle. that have two big holes there we're gonna put it there so you can see that it's not that close down so I'm gonna cut a little bit more from this bottom half closer and that's very convenient here it's almost touching the bottom so that's cool okay we are going to take the yarn and mine is kind of thin so what I will do is I will fold it in half I will fold it in half I'm going to cut it And so it's thicker, I'm just gonna fold it in half and make it like two, make it into one. And then you could just tie it on the top so it sticks together. And then you do the same at the bottom. And then it's just one thicker string. Maybe one in the middle too. Actually, no, no in the middle, just top and bottom. Like that. And then you want to wet it. So I have water here. I'm just gonna put some in here for a second. I'm gonna wet my string all the way, submerge it in water. That way it's already kind of wet, so the, the roots of your plant don't struggle so much when trying to suck in the water from the reservoir, which is this. So when it's all wet, it's gonna be easier for the roots to look for water down here. So don't Let's nice and wet there. Here we go. And then we want to put the string through one of the holes. Oh, maybe I'll take this off. It's easier. Just like that. back in so 
it should be like this. So this will be touching the water in here. And this part will be up in your dirt, touching the roots. Okay. How you doing, Mario? <laughs> it's okay. Perfect. Can I see yours to show them? Thank you. She puts hers in there. This is going to be touching the water in here. And this part up here is going to be for the roots. Putting it in the dirt. So that's practically it. And that way we have two planters ready to go. And you can decorate them any way you want. We have Sharpies. We have stickers here with us. So I'm going to put some stickers on mine real quick before we put a plant in it. And like I said, if you want to put anything on yours, put this big... I have a bunch of stickers just laying around that I literally do not know what to do with it. So I was like, let's put them on my planters. Nice. There, have some like pizzas and some New York stickers. I got this at a concert and so many of them and don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I've made a lot of these throughout the years and they're just really awesome. I mean, it saves me a lot of money on on like plant stuff because instead of buying planters I can just make them and decorate them however I want to decorate them I'll spray paint them I'll just paint them you know I'll give them to a friend too and yeah I'll just just have fun with them, really. That's the point of this. So I decorated mine. Just a bunch of stickers all around. And you want to have this part free. Because you want to see how much water either you have in there. Or you're going to need to put in. So I have a little plate here where I'm going to put this in order to catch the dirt that might fall. So I was going to actually replant one of my plants. I was gonna replant this little guy because it needs a whole lot more water than it's getting here. So I was gonna take him out. Look at this guy. And the soil still works, actually, so I'm going to use this same soil here. Hmm. Or maybe not. I'll just take it out here. Thank you. It's going to break it up here. Yeah, I have my own little weird mix of like coca coir and like Lekka balls and just a bunch of and like perlite. So I'm just going to take out these roots that I don't need anymore. And I have some moss in here that mo keeps in the moisture. So when I plant, I'm going to put it on this one, I'm going to put it on this top one. You can make sure this is a little loose, that way the water comes out when you are watering from the top, but usually with this, it'll just take it from here. You don't have to water from the top, except the first week. The first week you water from the top and then you just continue watering from the bottom. So I make sure the string is spread out. 
Then I'm going to put in my dirt. I'm going to make sure the string is all around. It's still here. That way the roots can get to it really easily. You can use this dirt money also, if you want to use this. I can still use my hand here. Honestly, I think it's always better to plant with my hand. Anyways. I love to feel the dirt. So again, my string is still around here. Make sure you're not patting it down too hard, just a little light. I'm gonna put my plant. If you see right there, this is my string. I'm gonna put my plant and its roots right on top of this, right on top of the string to make sure it's touching it and it will get all the water it needs. And then I fill up around it. Again, my dirt was pretty new, so that's why I didn't put in new dirt, but this will do. Make sure you're patting that in. Not too tight, but good enough where it's not going to move. That's fine. <laughs> if anything, you can remove this leaf here. So my little sis is putting in a cutting I had, had a bunch of roots in there, but this little leaf is in the way, so we're just going to take it off. It's okay. It'll grow new ones. So again, she has her string near the roots, so it will make sure to be taken in all the water it needs because it's so close to the string. There you go. Yeah, this plant is very thirsty all the time. So I had it in this other planter, which is very, very dry. This terracotta one, usually, <clears throat> um, how do you say? It usually sucks up all the leftover moisture from water. So that's for more dry plants that don't like a lot of water, like succulents, like cactuses, those are succulents. So I decided to move this little drama queen over to this one so she could get all her water and I don't have to worry so much about watering her because she will be in this reservoir which I just fill up and it'll be okay. Pat it down. How's yours doing? Let's put a little bit of water in hers. That way it's easier to put it down. Try to tap it down now. She won't stand up, right? No, no. She's a hanging plant. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, the water bottles are a little bit more um, delicate when you go to grab it. Some really 
Yeah, this one has been in water for a while now, so I'm happy to put her in some dirt. It's gonna look so cute. Okay, so now we're done here. Yes. We're gonna put a little bit of water on top of them. Put my here, yeah, you can put it just put it here so I really see. <clears throat> so since the dirt might be dry, we want to put some water on the top first. So it goes down into the reservoir. And that way the string can get wet again and Everything's nice and wet, so the roots know where to look for next. Uh, yeah, so let's put some water on top, on top of it. On top first, so it gets used to water. And we're just going to keep putting it until we see it coming down from the bottom. You always want to water plants thoroughly, like all the way. Yep, so you can see hers, the water is coming down, which that's a good sign. It means that the hole we put in is good enough and it's going to make sure to put water, it's going to make sure water is going up at the same time when the time comes. So mine, maybe a little bit more. So the hole worked good enough. So you don't want water sitting in there. It's going to rot the roots. So you really want to make sure the water comes out and is sitting in here rather than in here. And that's it. I hope you guys really try this at home. Decorate it, paint it, put stickers on it, give this to a friend, give this to family. Everybody needs a little bit of greenery in their lives. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you can show somebody else.